Hello, this tutorial shows you how to plot multiple variables in one graph. For example, this data has two factor variables and six dependent variables. I will show you how to plot all six dependent variables in one graph. Let's get started. Uh, first of all, we need to load packages and import data. We need five packages. The first package is read Excel, we need to import the Excel data. And then we use two packages, deploy and tidy, to reshape the data and rename the level of a variable. The last two packages, ggplot2 and ggpub, we use to plot the bar graph. We load the packages. After we load the packages, we can start to import data. You can check the data. As you can see, the data has two factor variables, genotype and chisman, and six dependent variables, a granute, soot dry matter, plant height, root dry matter, root length, and root volume. Uh, we need to convert two factor variables into the factor using the code s.factor. Uh, we want to uh, plot all six dependent variables into one graph using faces. So first of all, we need to combine all of six dependent variables into one column. And we need to use the code pivot longer to do that. And we will combine the column from granute to the root volume. And we name it indices. All of the observations, we put in one column name value. We run the code and we can check it. We view the data. And here is our new data. As you can see, now our data have only four columns. The first two columns is the same, general type and chisman. The second column is indices that contain all of six dependent variables. And the last column is value. We also need to order the level of factor indices by using the code factor. We run the code and we order the level of uh, indices. Now we can start to plot the bar plot. We use the code ggbarplot and the data we use uh, the df2, that the reshape data. The x-axis is general type, the y-axis is value. We fill with chisman and we face it by indices. We plot data based on the mean and standard deviation. And we also need to use position dots to adjust the position of bar. We also use add.params to customize the error bar. The theme here is we used to select the background color. Y lab, we name for the y axis and we use lesson.position to position the lesson on the top. And this code we use to customize the text in the x-axis. We can rotate the text and we can adjust the position of the text. We run the code and we can check. Uh, this is our graph. As you can see, the one graph has very high bar. Uh, the other some graphs have very short bar. This happened because the y-axis is fixed to one value as the highest bar. So how we can solve this? To solve this, we will going to use the chaos and free y. We use the code face it, and we have to use the fig we have already plot above, and we still face it by indices, and we choose the number of row is two and the number of column is three. You run the code and we can see. As you can see now, the bar plot is very beautiful. You also can see uh, another problem. We don't have the unit on the graph. So how we can add the unit on the graph? To add the unit on the graph, we need to change the name of the indices in the column indices. To save time, I will copy and paste the code.
We paste the code here. We use mutate and then we use the code recode to change the name of variable and and we want to have the unit in the name. We run the code and we can check. As you can see now, the name of variable includes a unit. Now we will replace the DF2 with the DF3 and we rerun the code. We run it and we can check. Now you can see our data have the unit. And we run the last code. And now I think we have the bar plot as what we want. It is for today. I hope the video is useful for you. Thank you.